Uh, Nate, what was what was going right tonight from you from the field? I mean, uh, everything, I guess. But no, I mean, I just give it credit to my teammates. They have, it's, they've been staying on me just to play with it myself, and I mean, just go after it. I was talking to Coach Collins, Coach Doug Collins, uh, a couple days after practice, and he just said, "Hey, you got 13 games left here at uh, Walsh Ryan, so really, uh, really take advantage of it." And I really took that to heart. So. Chris said that um, it was just a matter of you, you going out there and being confident. True? Uh, yeah. He's been, he's been on me about that. But, uh, Has your confidence, confidence been suffering? I don't think so. I mean, I think after that Notre Dame game, I kind of got down on myself, and I, I can't do that. Um, like Coach said, I got to just be confident in, my, confident in myself and play with it myself and just do what I have the ability to do. And the other thing Chris just said was that um, – with Aaron out, you knowing that you're going to get all those minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, does not, that change anything for you? No, I'm not, I don't think it changes my approach. I think um, even with Aaron there, we we both had the mindset of, hey, we're we're going in, we're going to make an impact. Um, but with him with him out, with Derek out, and with Rap out, it's it, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess Chris used the term. It helps when he knows. He's going to get those minutes. Yeah, you get you get your mind ready when you know you're going to go in. Um, you kind of have an idea when you're on the bench and you're seeing the game flow. And um, but you have a better idea when you see foul trouble or how things are going in the game, and um, you get you get mentally revved up even more so than just during the, before the game. So that certainly helps. Yeah. At what point, uh, sort of during the during the game today, do you sort of realize, okay, this is my night. Like I'm I'm feeling it tonight. I mean, I never really realized that. I never really realized how many points I had or how many rebounds I had. Um, but just kind of played with myself, just took it play by play and um, tried to make an impact. How nice was the uh, the putback done? I haven't seen it yet, but um, guys were telling me they didn't know I, I had it in me. So uh, I was like, yeah, well. Does a game like this and the game against Notre Dame do for your confidence? Um, it's a big booster, but I think that shouldn't be the case. I think every game should be a game where I come out knowing that, hey, I'm confident, I'm able to do this and able to do that, and I'm I want to make an impact on the game and impact for my team. But um, going into the next game, I think just seeing the ball go in really, really helps, as it would with anybody. I mean, Else for me? Isaiah Brown comes out of the game. Yeah. You sit down next to him, put your arm around him. What are you telling him? Yeah, I mean, first of all, that's my younger brother. So I just told him to slow down. I thought he just got sped up. And that happens for freshmen in this game. It, it's a big jump from going high school to college. And so I just, you know, it, it's easy to get caught up in the coaches getting on him. So I, I wanted to be the calming voice for him to just tell him to calm down. You know, he knows how to play and not to overcomplicate, you know, the game of basketball. I, he's so quick. You know, he just needs to make one move and get by somebody. I think, you know, he, he is really skilled. So sometimes I think he overcomplicates it and then kind of fumbles everything. So... Uh, I just told him to slow down, take his time, and, uh, you know, he's a great player, so, he, you know, not to get flustered. Stuff that he would do in high school that worked, like driving in among a couple people and go in. Now yeah. that stuff's not working anymore. Well, how, long, how do you get that out of him, and how long does that take? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's the problem. I think he's just getting sped up. I think the speed of the game – uh, he's just trying to go so fast because he knows the game's coming at him much faster than what it was in high school. I think that's the biggest jump for him. So just telling him to slow down, like let the game come to you and just see the play and make the play, as Coach Baldwin always says. So I, I, that's, a, that's the one thing I'd, I'd advise him, and that's what I was trying to do is get through to him is just slow down. See the play, make the play. 
Brian, 41 points off the bench tonight, 18 from, from Taphorn. How nice was that sort of for the starters to sort of be able to rely on those guys tonight? Awesome. Uh, Tap did an excellent job, especially in the first half, coming in and busting up their middle of their zone. Uh, we were able to get it to him a couple times, and, you know, his turnaround jumper from about 17 feet is money. So uh, getting, getting him going early and his tip, de tip dunk was awesome. So uh, he had a great night. And then, you know, our whole bench came to play. I think everybody played over 13 minutes tonight. So uh, being able to rest some guys that are playing heavy minutes and also l allowing those guys that aren't playing as much minutes to, to get more playing time and uh, see a little more action. Anything else? Awesome. Thank you.